I escaped into the mountains and lived for almost a year. I spent a very difficult life. I hid in the mountains and sometimes slept on the bare ground. 24-year-old Jamyang Jinpa and two fellow Tibetan monks went on the run after embarrassing the Chinese government during a state-sponsored media tour in April 2008. As foreign and Chinese journalists toured the Lebrang Monastery in Xiahe, Jamyang and about 15 other monks unfurled a forbidden Tibetan flag and several banners. One monk told reporters in Chinese, We have no human rights. Once I joined the protest in front of the foreign journalists, there was not any place for me to hide. The Chinese government would always be tracking me, and there was a danger to be imprisoned or tortured, so I escaped to the mountains for more than a year. I tried to leave Tibet, but couldn't get the chance to escape. Finally, I got the chance to escape to India. Using fake ID cards and traveling in secret, Zhang and his friends eventually made it across the border to this refugee center in Dharamsala, India, where the Dalai Lama lives in exile. Zhang story is a window into the aftermath of what was the largest uprising among Tibetans in decades. Thanks to His Holiness and the exile government, we have a reception center in Nepal and here in Dharamsala. This is the new arrivals reception center for Tibetans who are fresh and arrive here. They are welcomed by the center and His Holiness. Temporarily, I stay here until things are completed, so we are temporarily waiting and relaxing here. I've stayed at the reception center for 15 days, so there are not a lot of stable activities for me. I usually get up and pray for an hour or two, then I go to the temple. Sometimes I meet with friends who arrived here earlier and talk about things related to Tibet. Three of us were in the same monastery in Tibet. We've been friends and know each other well. We have faith in each other, so coming to India together was very convenient. We got help from people and the guide, so in this case we were in a group, so I felt happy and good. Jamyang considers himself lucky. This refugee center usually gets between 2,500 to 3,000 refugees annually. But a Chinese security crackdown whittled that number to 550 last year. Only 176 people had made it across the border to the center by this May. Actually, I miss my friends and family in Tibet, but I try to bury my feelings. There are many people who helped us out and worry about us. They cried for us and are still concerned over our situation. At the moment, I can't return to Tibet, but I don't know about the future.